In this video, we're going to look at how we can manage our folders, our email folders in Spark. We're going to look at this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Let's go over to my Mac first. We're going to look at this on the Mac. So I'm looking at Spark here, and if we look over on the left, you're going to see I have my different folders here, my recent folders here. Well, I would like to add my own folders there. These are recent folders, so it's going to put them in there automatically, and then if I don't use them, it could remove them. I would like to add my own folders here, my favorite folders. How do I do that? Well, on the Mac, it's pretty easy. Actually, we have two different ways to do this on the Mac. You can go to More here, and when you click on More, what you're going to see is all of your different accounts. And then when you go and select a different account or one of these accounts, you're going to see that you have all of the email boxes over here. So let's say I wanted to put my important emails over in my sidebar. Well, all I need to do is just go over to the little star here, and when I star it, what it's going to do is move it over to my favorites here. I shouldn't say move it. Basically, what it's going to do is just put an alias there or a shortcut there. I can always find that folder back under More here, and then we go over to Gmail, and you're going to see I have important. So it doesn't actually move it there, but it places it where I can easily access it. Let's go over to iCloud. Let's say I wanted to have my receipts folder over there. Again, I just go over to the star here, click on it, and now we can see that we have those folders there. Another way you can do this on the Mac is by going to Spark's Preferences. I go up under Spark in the menu bar, and then we go over to our preferences. This might be an actual easier way of doing it. If you have a lot of folders you want to favorite, this is the way that you'll want to do it. I go to preferences, and then what we do is we go over to folders. Under folders, you're going to see all of your different accounts with all of the different folders. And now all I need to do is just go and find the folder here and then make sure that it is selected. You can see that important is selected here. That is why it is showing up in my sidebar. So if I wanted to add notes here, all I have to do is just select it, and now we can see we've added notes here. So if you have a lot of folders that you want to arrange in your favorites here, you may want to use the preferences or Sparks preferences. You can rearrange these. All I have to do is just drag this up, and it'll move it around. So if you want to change the order of them, you can do that as well. So how do we do it on the iPad and iPhone? Well, let's first look at my iPad. The first thing that we need to do is we need to view all of our different folders, all of our different mailboxes. How do we do that? Well, we basically just go up to these three lines in the upper left-hand corner, and when I click on it, what it allows me to do is view all of my different folders here. Now what I need to do is I need to click on Edit List here. When I click on Edit List, what I'm able to do is click on the green plus here to move any of these folders or to favorite any of these folders. So let's go with Important here again. I click on it, and now you're going to see it up here in My Favorites. Let's go and add another one. We're going to go with Notes. I click on the green plus, and now we can see it up here in My Favorites. Now you may be a little confused. It looks like it is actually moving. It isn't actually moving the folder. It is still in the original account. All it is doing is moving it from more folders here into my favorite folders. So it's not physically moving the mailbox from one place to another. All it is doing is just moving it from more folders here to folders. And then when I click on Save, what I'm able to do is easily access those folders here. The iPhone basically works the same way as the iPad. Let's go over to my iPhone here, and we're going to open up Spark, and I need to tap on the three lines in the upper left-hand corner, and then what I do is I swipe up, and again you're going to see Edit List. When I tap on Edit List, I can see all of my favorite folders up at the top, and we have more folders down at the bottom. All I have to do is just tap on the green plus again. So let's go with Notes here. Now it moved it from that folder or that area, the More area here, to My Favorites. 
So now we can see we have my two notes. These are from two different accounts. It does synchronize this across all your different devices. So when I move these around here and I tap on save, it's going to move those over on my other devices. So let's go over to my iPad. You're going to see I have notes, important, and notes because that's how I set it up on my iPhone. So it does synchronize them across all of your different devices. So that's how we manage our folders with Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. It's a little bit easier to do on the Mac. We have a couple of different ways to do that. If you have a lot of folders that you want to manage, what you may want to do is go to Spark's Preferences. On the iPad and iPhone, it's really not too bad. You just have to go and edit the list, and then you tap on the green plus to favorite any one of the folders. So you can do this with multiple folders as well. So that's how you favorite folders, your mail folders, and Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.